I'm in Israel to see the latest state-of-the-art weapon systems. Surface-to-air missiles are often only as accurate as their ground tracking systems. Is there a smart projectile that once launched could seek out and destroy its target? The concept may not sound revolutionary, but how you go about doing it just might be. The answer is just a few miles from the border of Lebanon. I feel incredibly privileged to be here. No other film crew has been on this property. It's a future weapons exclusive. I'm about to see Israel's latest air defense system, the Spider. It's an idea that spun out of the minds of the engineers at Raphael. We develop air to air missiles for the last more than 40 years. And it came up that air to air missiles were so capable that uh, we thought, why not to launch them from the ground and have the same capability in air defense system? Former F 16 pilot Oran Oriol recognized the need for this air defense system. If you look in the past, uh, ground to air systems. The missile uh, were uh, actually, I would say, stupid, and the brain of the system was on the ground in the command and control and the radar. In these days, the brain of the system is in the missiles. The interceptors are transported on a mobile firing unit. It can carry up to eight of these missiles. And its rotatable launch pad allows for 360 degree firing. The Spider system consists of one mobile command unit, six mobile firing units. It can set up in five minutes, fire the first missile in five seconds, fire the second in less than two, get rid of all the missiles, downrange in eight seconds. Once this web is built, there is no aircraft that's going to escape. From a mobile command and control unit, an enemy aircraft even 25 miles away is detected, identified, and tracked by the surveillance radar. The enemy has no idea they're even being watched. They say speed kills. Imagine adding surprise to that formula. Now, since the system is capable of deploying it in a wide area and not all the features in the same place, so you can't even see that there is a system. I mean, it's only one track here and five kilometers from that, another track. So you can see it from the air and the missiles are smokeless. Spider is the only air defense system that has two different types of missiles on every launcher, the Derby and the Python 5. The Derby has an active seeker enabling it to detect track and home in on its targets after being launched. You don't need to track the target all the time. You just need to tell the missile, there is a target there, go and find it and home on it and destroy it. The Python 5 has an imaging infrared seeker to help it find its target. Imaging IR, that means it has a picture, and uh, in this picture, he knows how to find the target. Now, this needs a lot of image processing, a lot of uh, computerized here, and we used to tell the Air Force that one missile has more brain than a whole fleet of aircrafts, whole fleet of F-16s. Wow. The Spider system sounds spectacular, but seeing is believing. Now, it's time to take out some aircraft. I'm going to take part in a training demonstration within the command and control vehicle. It should give me the feel of what it would be like during an actual mission. Two men acting as an Israeli anti-aircraft team show me how it works. 
Now you can set this whole thing up to do it, the whole process automatically, right? Yes, we have uh, three main modes. It's a manual mode, semi-automatic mode, and automatic mode. Manual mode means that the commander choose which launcher will engage exactly target. Semi-automatic means that the system engage automatically the target, but the firing is manually. And automatic uh, mode, it's the system acts automatically, and uh, it's, first of all, is much more quick. So all the thinking has been done up front. The computer and the radar system, the missiles, they all know, hey, this is a good guy, and that's not a good guy. That's right. Great. All right, here we go. Now, we get to shoot an aircraft out of the sky. So I put the key here? Yes, and go to on. On. This is the safe key. Now you're going to do semi-automatic scenario. You see, you are in final manual, right? This is incredible. I can see a helicopter and one, two, three different adversarial planes, right? And the numbers is how many seconds they have until they will kill, kill the target. Got it. All right, so the first thing I got to do is push right here on this button right there. They, now they now it's ready. Right. Yes. The system is ready for firing. Now all I have to do is push the red button, right? Here it goes. And I'm yes. going to literally get rid of one, two, three, so four, four, four targets right now. Yes. So now you see the missile is on the way. This Perfect. is the missile. And it's counting down exactly Can't take the until it First target's taken out. Second target's taken out. Third target's taken out. And the fourth target's taken out, just like that. That's incredible. It is remarkable to me just how easy that is to use. Yes. This was the purpose of the, you know, of the main machine interface, to make it as simple as possible. This may be just a reenactment, but in the hands of real soldiers, this spider weaves a tangled web from which no aircraft escapes alive. If you're an enemy aircraft going over top of Israel, be careful. There's a big spider out there. Still to come, an Israeli air-to-ground missile called Delilah that will destroy things that even Samson couldn't.